To the news now and today the Erie County Board of Elections began the task of counting the write in ballots which were cast in the hotly contested Buffalo mayor's race. There was an unprecedented number of write in votes some 36,000 to tabulate. We get more about how that process is going from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. On election night, India Walton was decisively defeated by write in. And while it has been presumed since then that that meant those votes went for Mayor Byron Brown, uh, today was the first day of the process to actually find out if they did. Ballots are brought up on an elevator and then rolled in on hand trucks for the first step of the process, which is to reconcile the number of ballots known to have been cast in each election district. Once that reconciliation takes place and we account for every single ballot, we begin the process of looking at the ballot to determine what the write-in votes were. That requires a visual inspection, an actual sorting out of the ballots into the various piles for the different write-in candidates. This is done at tables where there are two Board of Election staffers who act as canvassers under the watchful eyes of representatives of the respective campaigns. It has to be identifiable to a candidate and it has to be in the proper column. Those are the two requirements uh, to have a valid right and vote. The Board of Elections canvassers make the call as to whether the vote counts, but in the event that a candidate representative disputes it, then a copy is made of the ballot on yellow paper to distinguish it and provide it to the side that raised the objection. So they can preserve their rights if they want to uh, challenge our ruling sometime in the future. It may take until early next week to complete the process, but coming up at 5, why it may not take that long to actually determine the winner. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.